born. <laughs> what are you doing? I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. <laughs> this is what they do in their you free know, time? Max, sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. Uh oh. No, that was uh, Max's aunt. <laughs> yes, 14 packs a Quit day. Quit thinking, Sam. What's that? Yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. What's today's We're missing, y'all? Let me guess. Our What's friendly neighborhood on, demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President, President of, the of the United, United States. States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. Okay. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. <laughs> That's what Max drew the line <laughs> at the gun law. Okay. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going, man? Welcome back to another video of Seven Max. It is a pleasure to have you back here on this experience, on this journey with me. How's everybody's day going, man? It's going good. All right. Man, it has been a crazy couple of ah, What's I say? It's, it's been a crazy couple of days, man. I am excited to get right back into this game. All right, let's see what's new with this episode. Episode four, Abe Lincoln must die. I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil, and firing your gun out the window. I love them too, I man. swear, that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called commander-in-chief. Okay, we are at the Capitol, the embassy, the White House. All right. Service Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and der rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Provide me access, yeah, please. that's a negative on the access permission, sir. Negative. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. <laughs> over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Okay, okay. Your specialty, Sam. Let's see. Yeah, did you call yourself Super Bowl? Cause that's that's an unusual name. Did you call yourself Super Bowl? Code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Oh, Super Bowl. I get it. I don't. Let's see. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl, I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. <laughs> Not now, Max. Max is trying to get straight to it. Wasting no time. He said smell these two handkerchiefs and see which one smells like chloroform. <laughs> all right, let's see. Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. Okay. They have you guys doing odd jobs too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Super Bowl! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? <laughs> Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. Okay, let's see. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. Alright, so I guess there's nothing else for us to do here. I've had enough of this. 
Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max, but these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Okay. So we are right back into it, y'all. Let's see if we can just look around. That's not Room for thing. rent. I guess the country really is hard up for cash. Room for rent in the White House? Okay. Valley parking. Okay, so let's look around, y'all. See what we can find. We got a pool. Please do not. What says? Please do not feed the submarine. What are you talking about? The White House pool, most secure waiting pool on Earth. Okay. What's that Jimmy Two Teeth on a on a rat, bro? But why is he everywhere we are? Jimmy. Oh, great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R&R. &R. Speaking of which, beat it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to know what R&R &R is, but I don't know what it means. I don't travel much, unfortunately. All right. My missing boxing glove. It's always in the last place you look. It was never here, so why would it be here? <laughs> Alright, so I took a look around. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else for us to sit here and observe. So we'll go right back to our friendly little neighborhood. Where are we going, Sam? Alright. Back to the office, man. Back to the office. I'll drive. Not I'll while go. I'm alive. Exactly. <laughs> Right now we're into our. Is that Hugh Bliss? Was that Hugh Bliss? Hold oh, on. Does he open up a bookstore? Okay. Whoa! Look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Hello. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of time? Bro, he, he... It's something about he lists Max likes. I don't know what it is. I don't know. He probably feels the vibrance, the, the essence of a positive character. He needs that. What are you doing here? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about prismatology! The magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being? Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! What is that? Hooray! Esperanto? I swear, I'm learning something new every time I play this game. Have you sold any books Are yet? books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a this away for free? or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. What was your book about again? Uh, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness? It's about everything and nothing at all. Oh. Okay. See, I, I think if we do this, the magic trick thing, I think it's just gonna change colors. I'm not sure if y'all really wanna see that, but I guess we're gonna do it anyway. Show us a magic trick, you Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are Yeah, yeah, less <laughs> chatter, more magic. <laughs> okay, how about I disappear! Well, that's doing well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is! <laughs> now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone! I ain't gonna lie, that's kinda cool. I ain't gonna lie. All that hating uh, Sam is doing, you know that's kinda cool. To disappear like that. Instant transmission. Prisma, pr prismatality transmission. All right, um, who do you think we should go to first? I think since we're over here, we might as well already talk to Bosco. So let's talk to Bosco, yeah. What's shaking, Bosco? Ah, greetings, so Russian comrade now? dog, rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha ha ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. 
I am Vladimir Ilyevich Boskovorsky, Russian proprietor. Am I even going to try to repeat that? Glorious warehouse of inconvenience, no? No. But now I make new start in America, which I love. So, there's no need to aiming sophisticated targeting equipment at me. So, you decided to be a Russian when we're at war with the government in America. Ironic, right? Uh, why the Russian disguise, Bosco? What happened now, man? What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? It's perfectly natural, comrades. I work with the American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know. They know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. Oh. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. That's me, Max. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's me. You know, Max? Max knows his, uh... He knows something's up. Uh... Why would the government be watching you, Bosco? Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um... Just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So, it's no need to target me. Okay. Mm. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirligig to defend yourself mm. against the feds? He's the people, comrades. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. Come their victory, workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. <laughs> no, it's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. You know what? One thing I got to commend Bosco is that each episode, each chapter, he develops and masters each accent he, he tries to portray. And that's one thing I admire about Bosco. You know what? Pop it up for Bosco, man. Make you set a spot if you like Bosco, man. Uh, making a missile defense system? Missile defense system? Isn't that more than that a little too. bit overkill? Yes, we are strong like bad against attack. I'm working on modifying b -Tad's part two. Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store. So I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. Mm. So now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? A small price to pay for freedom. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have. What does he have for his mind that counter? He always, he always has something unique. So last time it was actually something we really needed. Well, everything we needed, but... That roach? That that was top tier. A recording roach. Let's see what he has now. We want to buy something. Yeah. Is evil but necessary private enterprise. What do you have? What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrades. Is useful for uh, how you say questioning. Questioning. His true serum makes easy even the most difficult. How do you say? Uh, Interrogation. Okay. Interrogation. <laughs> True serum? Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks or does it actually work? Both. We'll make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling uh, how you say complete and honest truth. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already working. <laughs> Yo, Max be on bad timing, man. Uh, give it to us, man. We'd like that truth serum, Comrade Boscovich. It's good. Price is 867.5309 okay, rupees. he's on his bullshit How again. much is that in real money? 100 million dollars. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Boscovorsky. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. Bro, what, what did I just say last episode, man? I said he always goes overboard with these prices, man. Here we go again, a hundred million that who does he think we are, bro? We're living in a time of, of low economy, low income, and here you go up in prices like this, bro. Come on, bro, where's the compassion, bro? Where's the empathy? Isn't that a little pricey for truth serum? It's bargain. It really does work, and I haven't even tried it yet. Sam, this morning I used your toothbrush. Results are guaranteed. 
I used it to clean out my ears. This is refreshingly liberating. Besides, I need the money to complete my satellite defense system. I needed to clean out my ears because I'd been rummaging through. Okay, I've heard enough. Nothing for us right now. Here, man. Where are we gonna find that kind of money though? Like, see you later, Bosco. Is no Bosco, comrades. His only loyal worker, Bosco Vorsky. Who is no threat to glorious America. I'm not trying to hear all that, bro. You done pissed me off once again. You got this tacky ass store, bro. You've been having them cans on that shelf for months, bro. I'm telling all your customers that come in here that. Alright, let's go check out Sibla, man. See how she's doing. Okay, okay. I'm feeling the vibes. Feeling. It's feeling February ish. Valentine's Day, I'm liking it. Probably, you probably are in February in the game. Hey, Sybil, what's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for again? me. Okay. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. Yeah, trouble finding a date, Sybil? I mean, if you're looking, you know, options are open. You know, I'm here, you know, your boy's here. <laughs> now I'm playing, I, stop, I better stop playing for Dr. Umar coming in this chat, man. Coming in this game. The ghost of Umar is around me. All right. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. But I'm different. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. Hey, what kind of man are you looking for, Sybil? Let's see if I meet that criteria. What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn on. Mm -hmm. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. experienced All right, have. enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. <laughs> I thought she was talking about me. <laughs> she said tall. She, she, she specifically said tall. Experienced. And this man, Max, said, All right, I'll go out with you. <laughs> Okay, uh... Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened, I guess. They must have. Somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. Okay, so... What's next? What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits, and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility okay. points. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. Temps. Just Thames. Thames. All, all the criteria, Thames. That's it. Thames. I'm very spiritual. I'm very spiritual. A disciple of the Ancient Ones, enacting dark magic rituals to bring forth their reign again upon this earth. Rise, Shigarath. Rise, Abyak Solemn. the medieval Solemn. times. <laughs> I lead an active lifestyle. I lead an active lifestyle. Always running from the authorities. I can appreciate a person's inner beauty. So he is cooking right now. I can appreciate a person's inner beauty. I even have my own sonogram machine. Yeah, she should love animals because you know I'm a dog, but I'm not actually a dog. You know I mean? She should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. Bro, he's a you really know how to ruin the mood, He's Max. a horrible wingman. Oh, and cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. Horrible wingman. 
She should be. Yo, why are they reading my mind though? Like, I like them tall, you know? Little stallions, you know? Little Megish, little Meg stallion. <laughs> Let's see. She should be tall. At least 12 feet, or four meters if she's Canadian. She should have an air of mystery. What does that mean? She should have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when pressed, revealing nothing. Okay. And uh, she should love the outdoors, uh-huh. She should love the outdoors. We frequently lock ourselves out of the office. And that's all I could think of, Sebul. Thank you for your time. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. But why are you talking about- And there it is. Max, it says it your perfect saying, match is- Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Oh, they playing. Disturbing. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal Max, soulmate right? is- Wait for it. Max. See, this is how I know. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey, Sam, what do you say we never ever speak of this again? Agree. Way ahead of you, little buddy. Cause now you playing with me, Sybil. Like I'm out here looking for Thames, bro. We over here talking about some Max, and you telling Max is me. Like, what, what are we talking about here? Yeah, we out of here, bro. You got you just one of them. One of them, bro. What's next on the career horizon, um, Sybil? What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? Volcano God. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business, though. <laughs> Volcano God, what is that? How many matches have you made so far? How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. None is the loneliest number. But I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. Okay. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups. And a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. Okay. Alright, well, that was very informative, um, Sybil. Um, I look forward to coming back to your office when I'm less pissed off, but... It was very good speaking to you, Sybil. See you around, Sybil. Okay, so now... <clears throat> Oh, you know one thing I never did? I never checked out this over here. Give me all you got. It's the Army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Oh, Apparently, cool. there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. Okay. I never... Was this always here? This, um, abandoned shack right here? No story? Lefties. What is that? Tool rentals. Mm. Lefty's tool rental shop is still vacant. Remember that afternoon when I put on a baseball cap and spent hours out here playing fizzball with Lefty? If you mean that night when you put on a hockey mask and spent hours chasing Lefty down the street with a chainsaw, then yes. Precious memories. Okay, so I never really checked out the area before. Alright, we're gonna go right back to the office, y'all. Yeah? Sweet, sweet home office. I want to see what collectible we have in the closet. Cause last time it was Brady Coach's hair, then it was the the Hypno Bear, and I corrected it this time. I said Hypno last time, but it's Hypno. Let's see what's in this closet. No. Oh, he's still here, bro. Why is he still here? It's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? Come <laughs> in. Good, good. How long does he stay there? How long do we have him there? That's not like kidnapping. Okay, so I guess we just close the door. Huh? Our thugs and hoodlums file cabinet is almost full. Can I help it if I come from a large family? Okay. So what's on the TV today? I bought that VCR at the uh, supermarket. No, 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 no. So you know it's still smell the Axe TV. My fellow Americans, we must remember to live life to the fullest and keep joy in our hearts. To that end, I have introduced mandatory psychological.
psychological examinations guarantee that all citizens meet the minimum required level of joy and good faith. What a horrible Just like president. a kinder, gentler Mussolini. Got Joe Biden in office, a young one. They really put Sheen in office, that goes crazy. Alright, shot. this one thing I want to check in this office before we leave. We never actually interacted with the phone, so let's see what that's about. Who are you calling, Sam? Mr. Pizza, two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Asbestos pies? Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. That's not what he said. I made a solemn promise to help you, the American people. Now, thanks to your collective short-term memory, I can say that I've delivered on that promise. Horrible. That's definitely Joe Biden. That's what we're going to call him. All right, so we are going to go back to the White House. I think that's everything we've done in this neighborhood that we could do so far. We went to Bosco. We, we talked to Hugh Bliss. We talked to Sybil. We didn't really get much or get much at all. Um... But Bosco wants us to give him $100 million, and that's that's insane. Where are we going, Sam? Like, I'm not sure if we can keep doing this. We're off to the White House. Oh, boy. All right. Back to the White House, y'all. In the Batmobile. <laughs> All right. So he's still there, but... Is that paper? Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Hey, Sam! Did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979... do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> okay, uh... Suspect yourself. That's so Madonna. Okay. Maybe there was something else we're supposed to do? Go that way? Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. Where are we going, Sam? I think we gotta go back to the office. Back to the office. Shotgun. Sure, there's something I did. Mm. What didn't I do though? All right, so we're back in the office, and I think there's something that I didn't do. I think there's something I didn't do in here. It has to be some, maybe the phones. In the upcoming election, it's important to ask yourself. Do you feel safer than you did three years ago? Or would you rather return to the days when crazed packs of robotic hyenas prowl the street, targeting their death robotic ray laser hyenas? eyes on you and on your children? As far as you know, my administration is the only thing keeping your home safe from the bloodthirsty robotic hyenas. Remember that, and God bless America. Well, who's to Be say? by the committee to remain in office at any cost. Who's to say that you and not your people aren't employing these robotic hyenas on the streets? Who are you calling, Sam? Okay, so now now we have an option to call the White House that wasn't there before. The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. Mm -hmm. Have you checked the baby? What baby? Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. Oh. Good job, then. No, 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 no. We are coming back. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Speaking. Okay, I didn't even peep that the first time. That's the guy that's sitting outside the guard. Um, we'll be right there. We've got two very special agents coming to the White House today. One is tall, well dressed, and devilishly handsome, and the other is Max. <laughs> Grant them full clearance. Over. Can't do that without approval form signed in triplicate, sir. Regulations. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's try. Let's try the last. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. Hello. Please hold. Roger that. 
Our phone bill is sure going to be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> okay, so I think he's on a phone, but like... We don't pick up the phone again, right? Why do I have a hunch we go back to the Black House now? I think we go back to the Black House. Watch, watch, watch this, watch, watch, watch it work now. Hello, is anyone there? Ah, so he moved over to the right side. Hello. Hello. Can't talk now. I'm on the phone. Sorry for interrupting. Hello, is anyone there? Hello. Mm. Hello, is anyone there? Hello. Now we got access into the White House, y'all. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. Is he it's worse than we thought, Max. Too? He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. <laughs> and I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. He's hypnotized too. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant. That's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. hypnotized right? We've got to snap him out of it, Max. And pronto. How do we do that we again? We got the boxing glove. We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it into the White House. I'm very curious on what we're going to do in the White House, but we will find out on the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Thank you so much for showing your support. We're going to continue rising to the top as one. As always, I hope everybody's having a great day. And until next time, peace.